This is sort of like your grandmother's spaghetti and sort of not. This is easy American home style spaghetti. Perfect for everyone's dinner table, especially mine. When I first started making spaghetti on my own, I did not include these two items, green peppers and onions. And now I know finely chopped green peppers and onions make homemade spaghetti fantastic. And the smaller you chop them, the better the spaghetti will be. My first two friends are the green peppers and onions. Those are two things that you cannot leave out of homemade spaghetti. If you do, you will be mad at yourself. So, that's number one and number two. In addition to that, I have 80-20 ground beef. I have the Dreamfields low carb pasta. I have peeled garlic, which are such lifesavers. I have canned mushrooms. I usually use fresh ones. And I have my favorite Prego spaghetti sauce because we don't do homemade around here, girl. Now, I'm using butter because I'm going to saute the vegetables first and I'm going to saute and season them before adding the ground beef. Here's how I do it. Now I give them a few minutes to saute together without adding any seasoning and then I add the oregano, basil and tomato spice blend. I found this little number at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of them. They're usually in one of those two stores. I heard Ross too. So I put about, I guess about two tablespoons or so, just shake until you like it okay don't worry about all the other stuff so I shake until I like it and then I let it simmer and then I mix it up and let it toast mm -mm -mm. it gives it a nice warm flavor and then I add a few red pepper flakes to give it just the kick that it needs
Now that the vegetables are sauteed to perfection, I would like the mushrooms to be just a little more charred or a little more grilled or whatever word you want to put there before adding the meat. So I did just a hair and I added the ground beef and I'm chopping it up and I'll blend it in just a few. Not blend it with a blender, you know, mix it I mean. So while we're waiting for it to do its thing on one side, I will start the water for the noodles. Now, a very famous cook said, over salt the water and undercook the noodles. And ever since getting that tip, that's exactly what I do. And the noodles come out great. Now I was doing something else before my noodles were great. Probably doing the same thing because I'm great. Anyway, over salt the water. No, yeah, over salt the water and undercook the noodles and add some type of butter or oil so they won't stick. Now the noodles are doing their thing. It's time to get back over here on this ground beef and mix it like it should be. We need all of those peppers and onions, garlic and mushrooms to mix evenly with the ground beef because if not, your spaghetti will go left and your family will not be happy and it will be your fault. So, please mix your vegetables evenly with your ground beef. And while everything is mixing, I try to make sure that it is minced evenly and there are no larger chunks in there. Now some people may like their ground beef a little chunky and a little mixed. It's all up to you, but since I'm not using any kind of meatballs, I would like the meat to be even all the way through. And so once I kind of mince it, then I let it simmer a little more until it's brown. And then I'm going to drain the grease. Time to check on these noodles. Stir, 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 check. Now you can pick one out of there if you want. Don't burn your finger because I don't want you coming back saying, Regina, I put my hand in there and it burnt, girl. Uh-uh, don't do that. Anyway, so I took the meat out and drained it. And while it's draining, I'm putting in the Prego roasted garlic and herb. Or you can use any flavor Prego that you like. Or if you make homemade sauce, use that too. But here we are with the Prego. And I'm letting it warm a bit before adding the ground beef. There it is. Oh, look at that. I got a little bit of noodles in there, but that's okay. I'm going to mix it anyway. No problem, right? After it's well mixed, I let it simmer a few minutes more, probably about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes if it's down really low and you're needing to do something else in the kitchen or you're waiting on the noodles to finish. So there are my finished noodles. They are drained and seasoned with a little onion powder, probably a little garlic powder too, and I may add black pepper. All right, so the noodles are all done and the meat is done as well. So I'm going to plate these two different ways because the people in my household like it uh, mixed and another person likes it served on top. So here's how we're going to do it first. Have a plate of noodles. That's a lot of noodles. Yes, it is. And I'm going to put the meat on top and there it is. That's plate number one. And that's without any cheese or anything else. And plate number two, my plate, because I like it mixed, is coming up in just a minute. Uh-huh, here's my plate. This is my plate. Yes, the real plate of easy, homemade American spaghetti. 
make it for your family tonight and tell me all about it in the comments. Talk to you next time. This is Regina Cordell for Sneakers and Forks. Like, comment, subscribe, and share with all your friends because they're hungry too. Ciao!